Hey guys, Andrew is here and this is my first commission project that I'm going to do for a customer. This is a regular cargo trailer and the guy who ordered that thing, he's a motorcyclist and he wants to do some electrical work, throw off some max fans, throw off some 110 volts AC, do the proper electric setup and also do some lighting, put the awning. So basically to convert this cargo trailer into a little toy hauler, whatever you call it. Today the first day and I'm starting with the awning installation. And the first problem that we're running into with the awning installation, um, there is no any reinforced pieces that I can connect my awning. Because uh, as you know, the cargo trailers, they built pretty shitty. Not shitty, but so there is no need to, to put a lot of reinforcement into a roof because like it's not designed to be walkable. But we have all these cross beams going from uh, left to the right, which is more than enough for the roof. But for the awning, especially be able to hold all the wind gusts, it's not enough because this is like a... Uh, I don't know, 132 is a sheet of aluminum and it's not going to hold my awning. The only kind of a strong piece that I have right here, it's like at this frame angle, but unfortunately my mount is not going to touch that thing. So my mount is like a mounting hole somewhere right here. So my idea is to throw another reinforcement piece from left to the right and I'm going to uh, install the bracket and connect it to the to my uh, like reinforcement piece possibly with uh, those bracket but I'm afraid those thread threads will be too short so I would need to probably cut them off and use different bolts longer bolts but yeah we'll figure out so but for now Let's figure out the reinforcement piece. After playing with the mount for a little bit, I, I figure out that I'm going to mount this way because I want to go as close as possible to the, to the trailer frame so when the rain will go from behind, it will hit this weather guard and it will not drip between the trailer and the awning. Uh, I'm still going to install the uh, reinforcement bar from left to the right somewhere here but what I figured out if I'll go all the way to this hall I'll be able to hit um, this uh, frame angle I mean this is not super strong but it's a frame angle and it's something extra uh, and with my reinforced piece I think it's gonna be like pretty solid and it will hold any wind gusts and stuff so I'll be like 100% sure it will not fly away so yeah let's drill some holes in the roof this hole is gonna be second mountain hole and it will be connected to my reinforcement bracket that will go from left to the right so Based on these two holes, I'll be able to drill uh, four more holes, two on each side, and I will know where to put my where to put my bracket. So I gotta climb down so you guys can see my face. <laughs> I drilled the holes uh, for mountain bolts, and the easiest way that I figured out uh, to mount this to the trailer frame is gonna be. Uh, welded to the angles to the support to the existing support angles all right i put the awning on the trailer and yeah it looks pretty neat uh, all mounting holes lined up so right now i need to put a butyl tape uh, below the mounting bracket so it's going to be weather sealed and i put the silicone in uh, in the in the bolt holes so yeah check it out how how it does it look I installed the awning and everything looks pretty cool, nice and straight. The only thing that I'm missing um, 
three more bolts for the reinforcement that I uh, welded to the trailer frame, but I'll get those bolts tomorrow. By far, on it is pretty solid and it's not going to move anywhere, but I still want to add this like additional protection for the wind gust and stuff. And, but for now, I just want to open for the first time and see how it's going to look like. Let's do it. And the biggest concern, will we be able to close the ramp? Ta-da! Yes, we will. Woo! Overall, it's a pretty cool awning. Uh, gives you a lot of shade. You can chill, dance, do whatever. I did not record how I put down the awning, uh, but there's a time lapse that you can watch right now and it's fairly easy uh, you just need to figure out how to roll it down properly I tried to do it first time without thinking and wasn't able to zip in the middle but the second time like it tried to roll a little tighter and it went like a like a glove so I'm pretty excited how everything turned out still need to put three bolts on my reinforcement piece to make sure it will not fly away anywhere but for now this is the awning 180 with the bed wings Woo!